Color range is really useful in this case if we want to change only the yellow color of the sunflowers. So let's go to select and here choose color range. Now let's look at this dialog, these properties and here we need to select grayscale or if you want you can select the other previews but I love the grayscale because this helps me to understand what is selected and what is not. So in our case whatever it is with white will be selected and whatever it is with black won't be selected. So now let's click on the sunflower and now we'll see a really big difference. So whatever it is with white as I said will be selected but it is not enough because we still have some black areas on the yellow. So for that you either use this plus uh, icon and start to add or if you don't want to do that just uh, select the first one and remember that if you hold shift you'll see a plus that means it will add that color and if you hold alt and deselect it will deselect those colors. So in our case we don't want the green to be selected at all and we want as much of the yellow to be selected. Let's press OK and now we have a selection. If we want to change only the yellow we are going to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer. And now if we drag this hue slider you will see it will change only the yellow that we just selected. Here in this image I want to select the trees and the grass. In order to do that I'm going to click on the channels tab and here on channels we have always the RGB colors which are the reds, the greens and the blues. And while we are looking at each channel separately we need the one with the best contrast. And in our case blue it's the one. So I'm going to click on it and drag it to the plus icon and that will make a copy. Now let's press Ctrl and L for levels and I'm going to drag the sliders until we will see that uh, the sky will be really white and the rest will be really black and that means our selection is ready. Ok something like that and then press ok. Now we want to get rid of this uh, top area that we don't want. So take the brush tool and be sure that the white color is selected and the flow is 100% and the brush is the hard brush, hard round brush. And I'm going to paint on top and that means that area won't be selected. Now be careful not to select too much so don't go and select this area because you will ruin that part. In order to do that if we zoom in we will see that we need to get rid of uh, those areas that we don't want in the final selection. So a really great idea is to choose the mode instead of normal overlay. And now if we are painting on those areas it will get rid of uh, the parts that we don't want. When you finished just hold Ctrl and click on the thumbnail and it will make a selection. Now click on RGB and then again on layers. Here you need to hold Alt and click on the mask. And now for the background I'm going to use this picture in uh, this tutorial so you can see that we have changed the background. So let's go back to the layer with the tree and let's add uh, levels. Then clip these levels inside by holding Alt and click between the layers. And now if we decrease a bit the whites you'll see that the selection look much better. Photoshop evolved a lot in the past years and uh, for example we can use that uh, in our advantage so if we want to change the sky it's really fast we can go here on edit and choose sky replacement and Photoshop will know where the sky is and it will calculate and it will change the sky into something else. Of course you can change the sky and uh, you can use another one if you want but as I said Photoshop is incredible in doing that so so fast and then hit ok and if you can see it's not uh, destructive it created uh, Photoshop created a group so whenever you want you can deselect that group and you will revert to the original sky. Object selection tool is pretty straightforward so if we go here and choose object selection tool Photoshop will know the objects that we have it will uh, highlight them in blue and uh, of course you can change the default uh, highlight color into something else for example if you don't like that blue you can change it to magenta and uh, photoshop will uh, highlight uh, the objects in magenta so 
now if i want to select uh, for example this car i'm just going to click on it and it already made a selection and if we click on the mask we have only that car selected a really fast way in selecting the subject is doing backwards so in order to select the subject let's do it like that let's remove the background so when you import a picture into photoshop it might be locked you have that lock here on the right so double click on the layer and pick a name or just leave it like that and hit ok then click on the properties and we have remove background so with just a single click photoshop in a few seconds it will remove the background and we have a really really nice selection that we can work with it by the way please let me know in the comments which method do you use the most one of the most powerful tools in selecting subjects or objects in photoshop is the pen tool because i'm old school and i started with photoshop so many years ago i started to use pen tool a lot back in the days and recently since i've discovered other ways and other faster ways in selecting subjects i'm not using the pen tool that often but i really love to use it when i want to be really precise so just take the pen tool and uh, here on the properties I like to have the rubber band selected because that helps me to know where I'm going. So let's start zoom in and click and if you want to take a curve to the right you click again and hold and drag and you will see that you can add a curve. So this is the process just click and drag click and drag. So if you want to transform this into a selected subject you need to press Ctrl and enter and that will make a selection and now let's click on the mask and we have a really really good selection. Lasso tool, polygonal lasso tool and magnetic lasso tool are very useful but from those ones I use only lasso tool and polygonal lasso tool. For example it's really easy you take the lasso tool and if you want to select cert certain areas uh, you can do that and you can uh, you know uh, select uh, this part and you don't have to be really precise because you can always add or uh, subtract some areas so in my case if I want to select this little toy I'm having this selection and now if I'm zooming in I see that I didn't really select some areas so for that I'm holding shift and you'll see that plus icon and now if I draw here and make this selection it will add to the selection and of course if you do something like that so hold alt and deselect that area and then at the end of course press the mask and you have your selection ready polygonal lasso tool is really useful when you have uh, to select objects like that where we have straight lines so polygonal lasso tool you see it adds some straight lines and this is really fast if you have to select things like that and at the end just double click and click on the mask and you selected that toy magnetic lasso tool it follows your mouse movement and or the pen tablet uh, movement and if you click once it will act the same as the pen tool somehow but be careful because if your hand goes to another direction and let's say here it will go and select an area that you don't want so you have to be really precise don't hurry and at the end the same i'm taking again the lasso tool and hold shift and add those areas or hold alt and deselect those areas another way in selecting the subject is to use the brush tool i'm going to add a mask take the brush tool and in my case again the hard run brush and the black color selected and be sure the mode is set to normal and if i uh, paint you'll see that uh, if I paint with a black color it will deselect whatever I'm painting with the black color. Sometimes I'm doing this also I'm using this method I'm holding shift to draw straight lines so in my case I click once and then I hold shift and you'll see that it will go in a straight uh, line and that helps me to fasten the process. You can refine the selection at the end you can uh, you know uh, switch to the white color and uh, when you see things like that you can much uh, better and this will help you to master this type of selection even more one of the hardest things in photoshop is to select hair if you have an image similar to this one you can go to select then subject after photoshop is creating a selection 
let's go back to select and choose select and mask. Our selection already looks good but we can make it better. Let's click on decontaminate colors and then let's zoom in a bit. We still have some areas that we need to take care of. Select the refine edge brush tool and let's paint a bit here on those parts that we need to select or deselect and then just press ok and you'll see that our model looks really great and photoshop did an amazing job just in a few seconds magic one tool is one of uh, the most used tools in selecting things in photoshop and you can find it here or just press w and then it works something like that so if you have a sky or an area that uh, it's similar in color if you, you press once you'll see that photoshop will select all the pixels that have similar colors and they are next one to each other but in our case it didn't select all the sky so in order to select all the sky you can hold shift and add to the selection the parts that photoshop did not add and at the end when you finish just hold alt and click on the mask and you'll see that uh, everything was selected but if we look closer it doesn't really look that well because it still has some pixels that didn't select so let's uh, undo and let's look at the settings we have the tolerance and this is the range when we are sampling the color so we need to increase that different images uh, require different settings so this works for my image but in your case you might have a different tolerance so let's choose 76 and now if i click once you'll see that it will select the entire sky and then if i hold alt and click again on the mask you'll see that the selection looks much much better so magic one tool it's really doing magic a really interesting type of selection in Photoshop is focus area. This type of selection works when you have a subject that is in focus and the background is not really that visible and sometimes is blurred. Let's go to select and here let's choose focus area. And Photoshop will calculate and it will select everything that is in focus and whatever is not in focus won't be selected. So you, we can choose different type of previews or in our case we can use a transparent background which works best in this scenario and if there are some areas that photoshop did not select you can deselect them by holding alt and click on that area at the end just press ok and you have a really interesting selection and just press on the mask of course if you want to tweak it a bit you can double click on the mask and then use the refine edge tool and paint on the fur for example and you'll have a much better selection of course this is not perfect but it's one of the fastest way in selecting a subject that it's in focus for this week mr 23 review i'm going to choose three artists so first artist that I nominate for my Mr. 23 review is DGR Visuals. He created this amazing artwork and uh, I really love the color tones and the idea. Please be sure to check out his page and follow his work because it's amazing. The next artist that I would like to nominate for my Mr. 23 review is Adam's Gallery 2021 with this uh, medieval fantastic piece and I really loved what he did here there are a lot of elements that he combined so well and I really love the final result and the last artist that I would like to nominate for my Mr. 23 review is Art Diseni with this uh, incredible made painting concept art. So if you look at the before and after, the final result is just uh, incredible. So if you want your art talks to be featured in my videos, please use the hashtag Mr. 23 review whenever you post your art on Instagram. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you like Photoshop tutorials, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.